My name is James Ambrose and I'm Commercial and Technical Manager for Filiola Surf Animal Care in GB in Ireland. We're heading into the springtime now and many farmers will be contemplating turning cows out onto spring grazing. And whilst it's very tempting to turn them out very quickly, there are a couple of key principles that farmers need to adhere to. One of the most important things is to implement a phase transition to grass. It takes up to three weeks for the rumen microbes to adapt to a change in feed in the diet. What this ideally should look like once weather allows is look at allocating possibly five kilos of dry matter per cow per day as part of good grazing management. Um, and this may take the shape of leaving cows out after morning milking until uh, lunchtime and then bringing them back in uh, for, for an indoor based diet up to evening milking. So predicting dry matter intake is probably one of the hardest things to do for any dairy farmer when they turn cows out to grass. One of the key things that a farmer can do is look at strategies such as buffer feeding with highly digestible forages, uh, complementing that with parlour feeding during milking time and also it's essential to keep an eye on milk constituents, milk yield, also from a fertility perspective on body condition score and on bullying activity also in cows. So it's vitally important that farmers look at feeding in particular a balanced compound with a high inclusion of highly digestible fibres and a balanced source of cereals along with tailoring up the protein content relative to what the crude protein content of the grass is. Leafy spring grass can challenge rumen function so there are a couple of key indicators that farmers can keep an eye on with cows when they are out on spring grazing. Number one, assess rumen fill to make sure that they're actually taking what's expected from grazing. Number two, keep an eye on dung consistency. And number three, keep an eye on cutting rates across the herd, particularly once you head after 12 o'clock in the day, we're aiming to see 60% plus the herd lying down, chewing the cud, and the remainder of the herd grazing vigorously. Feeding ActiSaf live yeast can greatly enhance this process and ensure optimum rumen performance for optimum results in terms of milk constituents and milk yield.